we were looking to get away from Canadian winters and banked my husband, his dream was to sail around the world. We were both sailors. I had grown up sailing in Canada and uh, racing sailboats. We had had a race boat in Montreal. We sailed a lot together. And he thought it would be fabulous to buy a cruising boat and sail around the world. And I said, absolutely not. So the compromise was moving to Costa Rica and buying a boat that we could sail up and down the coast, which is what we did. Bank bought a boat in Panama, uh, brought it into Costa Rica, and spent many happy years fixing it up and getting it to the point where we could sail up and down the coast and have a great time with it, which is what we did. I would think that anybody who was looking at moving to Costa Rica, buying a property like we did and retiring, you need to think about what are you going to do once you're here because it's a very small town, it's a very laid-back, quiet lifestyle which is fabulous and which I could never go back to city life but given that it is uh, difficult for some people and I think especially for women because women rely so much more on relationships and, and their friendships and their family and things like that. Guys can sort of get together and have a beer and it's like they've known each other forever. So you need to become involved, either in all the local clubs, the yoga, there's Zumba, there's paddle boarding, there's a book club, there's ladies who play cards, there's all that kind of stuff available. Or there is always the possibility of doing what I did and opening up your own business. Um, I had never had my own business, this was my first experience. And I have to say that it was actually relatively easy. I mean, yes, there is bureaucracy and permits and all that kind of thing, but that exists in any part of the world. I didn't find it particularly difficult or particularly bureaucratic once I figured out the system. I do think it is fairly important that you learn the language as much as possible and as quickly as possible because that makes life so much easier if you don't have to rely on other people to translate. But all in all, it was a good experience and I don't regret it for one moment.